All right, guys, it has been one heck of a busy weekend. I don't know about you, but I am so ready to have an awesome Saturday night snack in a movie. Last week, I gave you guys six videos to choose from. The six that you did not choose over the past month in the polls that I put on YouTube. YouTube would not even let me put out a poll with six of them, so I had to do two of them. Three in one, three in the other. It came down to Teen Wolf and Pirates of the Caribbean. And for this week, you guys chose Teen Wolf. Honestly, I could not believe it, guys. I thought Pirates of the Caribbean was just going to blow this out of the water. Ah! And it was a tight race, but you guys did it. You chose Teen Wolf. I'm going to tell you what, though. There were so many people that were disappointed, and it was such a tight race that even though we are doing Teen Wolf this week, next week we're going to go ahead and do the Pirates of the Caribbean. Before we do anything else, guys, I have got to get out of this shirt and get my Saturday Night Snack and a Movie shirt on. So I'll be right back. Who's ready to wolf out? <laughs> Guys, I swear, I looked all over in my Halloween stuff thinking I had to have some kind of werewolf costume or something, and I had nothing. The only thing I had was this guy right here from Spirit Halloween. He actually even kind of sounds like Teen Wolf. But anyway, I have an awesome snack planned for tonight. If you guys have never seen Teen Wolf, it's basically about a teenager who's really not all that popular. He's on the basketball team, but he can't play very well until he becomes a werewolf. Then he becomes a basketball venom. I don't even know if that's a word, but he becomes very good at basketball. It is not a scary movie. It is a comedy. It stars Michael J. Fox, and it has teenagers doing teenage things. So it is rated PG. If you have kids that are going to be watching with you, you may want to visit the parental guide on imdb.com and just kind of read up a little bit on what to expect. But really, it's a Michael J. Fox comedy, so it is pretty mild, and I I saw it when I was a kid, I didn't think anything of it, except for the fact that it's an awesome movie. So back to the snack, guys. The basketball team that he plays on is called the Beavers. So tonight, we are going to be making beaver nuggets. If you've ever been to Bucky's, chances are you've at least seen beaver nuggets. They are absolutely delicious. Every time we go to Bucky's, we buy them. But tonight, we're going to make them right here at home. But first, we got to have something awesome to put our beaver nuggets in. So I got this whole bag of awesomeness from the Dollar Tree, and we are going to make a craft. Okay, so we got this whole bag of stuff here. This has to be in the theme of Teen Wolf. I didn't know what else to make, except for like maybe a half a basketball. I could have just taken like a bowl and painted it like a half a basketball, and then you could have put your stuff in there, popcorn, or whatever, but we're not gonna do that. I went to the Dollar Tree, because you guys know how much I love the Dollar Tree. What is this? Oh, it's a movie I forgot that I bought. Look, it's Hotel for Dogs. That was $1.25 on Blu-ray at the $1.25 tree. So anyways, I bought this whole bag of stuff because I had this idea. I was walking through the aisles the other day and I saw this thing right here. And I thought, wow, that almost looks like a basketball hoop. And so when I first went in there, I went in looking for a white one and I couldn't find a white one. So I picked this up and I put it in my cart thinking, well, maybe I could paint it. But then I turned around and I saw it this one. This looks exactly like a basketball hoop. It's a little short, obviously, but we don't want something huge because we're going to put a snack in it. But look at that. It's white. It looks like netting just like a basketball hoop. All it needs is like an orange rim. So I'm going to keep this to put my pens and markers in, in my office. And we're going to use this tonight along with some pipe cleaners that I also found at the Dollar 25 tree. Because like I just said, we want the orange rim around the top and there are orange pipe cleaners in here. So this way we don't have to actually paint that rim. We can just twist these around. Plus we need something to be able to attach the basket 
to the rim. And as I went down the toy aisle, I found this. <laughs> now this is a little mini basketball backboard with a hoop, and it actually has a ball with it too. Now it has like the lions or something on it, and we don't want that. So we're gonna use the other side that is white. Now if you go into your Dollar Tree and they do not have this, you can always just get a piece of cardboard. You can shape it like this, cut it out, and draw on it and use that as your backboard. In fact, I bought some cardboard to do that and I have no idea what I did with it. So I don't need it anyway, I do have this. But like I said, $1.25, $1.25, $1.25. And we're gonna make an awesome bowl for our snacks. So let's get these tags off here first. Yow! pipe cleaners here, and we're just going to use the orange ones. So let's separate those, and I think that's it for the orange ones. And then let's go ahead and open this backboard here. Whoa, there goes the ball. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. This actually comes with a little net. Holy crap. Okay, we're not going to use this, but I'm going to put it together quick because I just want to see what it looks like. So there's these little, like, hook things around the edge here. Look at that, how funny is that? You have a little basketball net, a little basketball hoop for $1.25. And it even comes with the ball. Dunk! <laughs> All right, anyways, we're not gonna use that. However, here's the other thing I thought of, guys. If you did wanna use this exactly how it is, you could get some, like, some sticky paper, or you could even paint this to whatever you wanted the backboard to look like. And this would fit perfectly on the hoop that's already here. So basically, let me get this net off of here. You could just attach this to this container and there you have it. That's the net right there. You got the backboard and you put your snack right in there. Now, I'm kind of picky, so I don't want that on there. I don't want to have to paint it. So like I said, we're going to use the white back. So that means we're going to have to take this net off and we're going to attach it to this because I like this because it looks more like a basketball net. What the heck? Look, this even comes with four little double-sided foam tapes. So you could put them on here and then like stick it on your wall or on your door or something. I gotta say, that's a pretty cool thing for a buck 25. Okay, so I grabbed a couple other tools here because in thinking about taking this off, instead of just ripping it off of there, I see on the back where it uses two Phillips head screws. So we're just gonna take those out. Yeah, and it came right off. And the other cool thing about that is that that leaves us holes now that we can put our pipe cleaners through to attach it to this. So what I wanna do, I don't just wanna attach this on here. I don't wanna leave this plain. I want this to look like an actual basketball backboard. So I'm gonna go to the trusty internet on down to the trusty Google, and we are just gonna look up basketball backboard so we can see exactly how it should look. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, guys, is just basically something like this where you have an orange outline around the outer edge of this, and then you have an orange box. So we wanna make this look like this. So I have an orange Sharpie, and I have a little square card here. I'm just gonna center it on here, and I'm gonna trace that. And I'm just gonna color it a little thicker around there. Color that in. All right, there's that much. And then we're just gonna go around the edge here and do the same thing. had a ruler this would be much easier. And the top I'm just gonna have to do freehand. And there we go. I messed up a little bit on the top but who cares it's all in good fun. All right now I'm done. There we go. Looks just like that. Done with the laptop. Now we want to go to our basket here. All we're gonna do is stick this through here and weave this around through these uh, little holes here. And so you can see how that's starting to look and make the orange ring around the top there. It takes a little time to do, but it's a fun craft. I mean, where else are you gonna get a Teen Wolf basketball hoop to eat your awesome snacks out of?
Okay, so there's the ring around the edge there. We have this little part here, which we're gonna go ahead and use to attach back here. So we're gonna weave that through there, just as we did the rest. And I'm gonna use this top hole here. Give that a twist. And we're gonna use another one in a couple of the lower ones here to do the bottom holes. <laughs> I'm gonna use some duct tape here. You could use regular tape, masking tape, whatever you want. But I'm gonna tape this on the back because the ends of those pipe cleaners can get pretty sharp. I guess that's the end of my duct tape. So we're gonna use this kind. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's probably much more tape than we ever need on there, but it'll serve the purpose. And there you go, guys. Your very own Teen Wolf basketball hoop for the Teen Wolf Beaver Nuggets. Now, if you wanted to go the extra mile, and you guys know me, I want to go the extra mile, <laughs> you could do something like putting the title of Teen Wolf on there, or even if you can see on the back here where he's wearing the Beavers jersey, you can put the Beavers logo on there. Now you don't have to draw it by hand. You can print it out on the computer and then you can glue it on there. And then that would be pretty dang official. All right, fine, I'll do it. All right, that means we gotta go back to the Google on the internet machine. And we're just gonna look up Teen Wolf Beavers. Okay, so the best thing that I found is this one right here, this Beavers 42. I'm gonna cut out the 42, I'm gonna remove the yellow, and we're just gonna use the Beavers, print it out and stick it on there and be done. All right, so I did that, printed it out on the computer. Now I'm gonna cut it out and stick it right on the backboard. It'll be a perfect fit. This is gonna be so awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it is, guys. Look at that. How cool is that? Now we need to go make the beaver nuggets to fill this thing with. All right, guys, so I've got everything right back here that we need to make our beaver nuggets. I got this recipe from imperialsugar.com if you want to look it up yourself. So we need a 10 ounce bag of puffin corn. Doesn't have to be any specific brand. I chose Snyder because that's what they had. We need some light brown sugar, light corn syrup, baking soda, butter, which the recipe actually calls for unsalted butter, but I don't have any. We need vanilla extract, maple extract, and butter extract. I don't quite understand why we need butter extract if we're using butter already, but that's what the recipe calls for. I found all the stuff that I needed over at the local Marks store, except the butter extract, and the maple extract, which I actually had to get on Amazon to order because I couldn't find it at Target or Walmart or anywhere else local. I believe the butter extract was about four bucks and probably about the same for the maple. We also need two large bowls and the recipe calls for one deep cookie sheet with parchment paper, but I got two ready just in case because that looks like a pretty big bag of puffin corn and you need to spread it out on the sheet. Now I will tell you, you're gonna have to do some prep before you even begin because you're gonna be melting some of this stuff together but only part of it and then you add the other part. So you have to have it all ready to go. Now the first thing we need to do is divide the puff corn between the two big bowls. The next thing we're gonna do is take all these ingredients and portion them out to exactly what we need. Now I only showed you one stick of butter earlier but you actually need two. You need a full Whole cup of butter. Each of these is eight tablespoons and it takes eight tablespoons to make a half a cup. So you need two sticks. And you guys have seen me use these little clear cups before in these shows. These make it so easy to set your portions out to exactly what you need. Then you have them ready and all you have to do is pour them out individually. So we need one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of maple extract, one half teaspoon of butter extract, one half cup cup of light corn syrup and one cup of light brown sugar packed. And we're also going to unwrap the butter. Now in looking at the recipe, the first thing we need to do is melt the butter, the corn syrup, and the brown sugar 
all together. Once that's boiling, we add the extracts and the baking soda. So to make it just a little easier, we're gonna go ahead and mix together these liquids. And that way we only have two things to add to that once it's boiling. Before we do anything, we're gonna get everything we need prepared right over here by the pan that we're gonna be using. That includes the two bowls of puff corn because as soon as the mixture is ready, we have to pour it over both of the bowls and begin to mix it up with these two spoons. And in looking at how much puff corn we actually have in these two bowls, that puts a little bit more into perspective why you probably want to have two pans prepared. Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. That's exactly why you need two pans. That's a lot of beaver nuggets right there. And when the mixture started boiling, it did not let me stir it for two minutes. If I'd have kept going for two minutes, it would have boiled over. It was probably more like 30 to 45 seconds before it was time to just turn off the heat. In fact, as I look back now at the recipe, it does say remove it from the heat and then mix the extracts in the baking soda. So I kind of did it wrong. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's all mixed up and ready to go in the oven. And the oven is not ready because I forgot to preheat it to 250. And this part might kind of suck because you see just how much is on these trays. And the recipe calls for these to be flipped around and mixed up every 15 minutes while they're in the oven. They only have to be in there for 45 minutes, so you're only gonna take them out and do that twice before laying them all out on one big sheet of parchment paper on the counter. But still, there's a lot of it there, so that might be kind of difficult. It was difficult enough to mix it all up in those big bowls. So while those are finishing up in the oven, I went ahead and laid out a bunch of parchment paper here, just right on the countertop, because according to the directions, we need to lay it out on here, spread it out on one layer, let it dry, and then we'll be able to break it into pieces. So after being in the oven for 45 minutes and doing our best to mix it twice, I took it out, laid it on the parchment paper over there, and started breaking it apart. And I can feel where as it dries, it's starting to break apart easier. It was very sticky when it first came out. It's starting to dry and actually break up into little pieces here. So you can probably see where it's still kind of sticky on my hands, but the longer it sits there, the drier it gets. So this has been sitting here for about 10 minutes drying, and you can see where there's kind of chunks of it. And when it first came out of the oven, it was sticking together in these big chunks, but now it will break apart very easily into individual pieces if you want it to. So you can basically just pick it up, kind of crunch it together, and it starts falling apart into individual pieces. So I'm gonna give it a quick taste test here, and then we're gonna deal with the issue of the basket bowl. So here's a nice chunk right here. It smells really, really good. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. Now I will say, I've had plenty of beaver nuggets from Bucky's. These taste very similar. They don't taste exactly like them, but man, they are good. Mmm, so unbelievable. 
Now the issue with our basketball basket bowl that we made is that it has holes in it. It's like a net. And our beaver nuggets are super crumbly. So if we try to just put this in our basket, there's gonna be sticky crumbles falling out everywhere. However, we can use a Ziploc. I have a sandwich Ziploc. I have a quart size Ziploc. Bag them up and dunk them. And there you go. Beaver nuggets and your very own Teen Wolf basketball hoop. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Teen Wolf beaver nuggets in our very own Teen Wolf the Beavers basketball basket hoop. Hoop basket bowl. <laughs> I hope you guys make some of these because they are delicious. Go on over to the Dollar Tree, the Dollar 25 Tree, and get you the pieces and parts to make your own beaver's basket. Or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to kick back and watch this movie, guys, and I will see you next Saturday.